Now to today's bizarre confrontation on a jumbo jet packed with passengers. It was heading for one of America's busiest airports when one passenger started screaming about poison. His seatmates jumped into action, and ABC's Gio Benitez has the details on a string of scares at 30,000 feet. His face hidden under a blue hoodie, police escort the suspect to an ambulance on the Newark tarmac just hours after passengers on board say he started screaming on the last leg of the 15-hour United flight from Hong Kong to Newark. Saying he was fearing for his life, that he couldn't land in the U.S., that we needed to divert the plane. Passenger Jacques Roizen says he took action. As the suspect reached for something in his jacket, Roizen says a few guys on the plane jumped on him and threw him to the floor. He was afraid of being poisoned. He saw everybody as a threat. He thought everybody was working for the FBI, the CIA. There was no time to understand or think, you know, we needed to restrain him. Roizen says the suspect mentioned the name of Edward Snowden, the whistleblower who leaked NSA secrets, still hiding out in Hong Kong. He was drawing a parallel between Edward Snow and himself. Like him, I know things, and that's it. This is the third flight in four days with threatening and frightening passengers. Friday, a passenger on board a Frontier Airlines flight to Denver claimed to have a bomb in his backpack. And on Saturday, an Egypt Air flight from Cairo to New York diverted to Scotland after a threatening note was found in the bathroom. No device was found on either plane, but this new incident is still under investigation. Gio Benitez, ABC News, New York.